The second cup of the wedding ceremony is, is about friendship. You might have seen at some weddings that they would have some salt and that's the symbol, the symbol of this covenant of friendship. And once again, we see in the culture of the Jewish service, another one of the identifications of Jesus's relationship with us and our relationship with him. The covenant of friendship. My mother, who's 97 years of age, her favorite hymn, uh, I would say it's de definitely in her top few, but I, I know it's one uh, that we will one day sing when she uh, is called home. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our griefs and sins to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. We're friends, friends of God. It's one of the most extraordinary descriptions of our relationship. And once again, we see this, of course, because these are the four cups of the wedding. We see friendship. I love that in, in, a, in a great marriage, I'm able to say that I married my best friend. And, and that's really what this is all about. You see, uh, we are the bride of Christ and we are going to marry our best friend. And, and there is a friend that sticks closer to than a brother, the Bible says. And Jesus is our friend, our friend forevermore. He's the friend of sinners. This is this picture again. We're, we're looking at this cup. I'm filling this cup up and saying, how big is your cup? Has it got the friendship with Jesus in the cup? Not a religious ceremony, not the formality as it were, but the friendship. And of course, we see that incredible picture of the Last Supper, don't we? We see that picture of the disciple John leaning on Jesus, relaxing, sitting back with his friend Jesus. And we get to be friends with Jesus. I think that one of the things that, that I'd love to find a way of really experiencing is that, that place of friendship, not just with Jesus, but at that uh, communion table. And this second cup of the Jewish wedding, the, the covenant of friendship, the, the salt. And I love that. What a beautiful picture it is. And, and as we think about this in this session, I, I just want us to think perhaps about broken friendships or perhaps to think this is a moment to reach out to somebody especially in this season that we're going through I, I know how beautiful it's been when somebody has reached out to me and and I know that Sue and I have tried to make a point of reaching out to somebody different each day just sending a text asking somebody how they are I believe it's one of the great needs in our world today is is friendship uh, it seems as though we've got thousands of friends, doesn't it, through social media? But now I'm talking about friends, the kind of friends who stick with you through thick and thin, the, the friends who are able to lean in somehow in the spirit and know what you're going through and send a text or pick up the phone. I, I love that. That is all possible. It, it's all in the cup. My dear friend Leif Hetland talks about leaning into somebody and I know I've experienced that and I've been on the receiving end of that where I know someone has leaned in somehow and connected in some beautiful way with where I am and reached out. Friendship. Friendship is one of our most beautiful gifts from heaven to be known as his friends. He's the friend of sinners. We're friends of God. And all this is in here. And as I take that cup and, and pour it in here, all this is in this cup. Why don't you take a moment? Perhaps there's a broken friendship. Perhaps there's somebody you'd like to be reconciled with. Of course, it is a part of our communion service to, to be reconciled. And it's a beautiful thing that we get to do that. So maybe you might want to just take a moment and just pray for somebody. Or maybe it's that you're going to think immediately after this, I'm going to reach out to somebody. You see, there's so much in this cup. What a beautiful time it is right now for us to, to restore friendships or to be friends to people, to take a moment and to reach out, perhaps to send a gift to somebody, a text, 
to pick up the phone. But knowing this, we're friends of God. And he's the friend of sinners. He loves us all. It's an incredible truth. See, we're the bride of Christ. And that second cup is the cup of friendship. Friendship with the closest relationship that we have on earth is a picture of the friendship that we have with our Lord Jesus Christ.